Hey everyone, I'm back. Sorry it took so long. I had some family stuff come up. Some uh, uh, rough things happened. I'll talk about it at a later date. But, um, happy Halloween. We're talking about The Howling by Gary Brandner. This is uh, brought to you by Encyclopocalypse, who released an audiobook for this a few months ago. They sent me a reviewer copy. And sorry, Sean, it's taken this long, but hey, I'm getting to it. I'd also like to shout out my friend Nikolai, who was really excited when I told him I had gotten this. So The Howling is about Karen Beatty and her husband Roy. They move to the town of Drago in California, a secluded town after Karen was assaulted in their home in Los Angeles. And this is a time for Karen and Roy to rekindle their marriage and heal. Well, the town's not quite what it seems and when their dog goes missing, Karen starts to think something's up. She keeps hearing this howling every night, which Roy doesn't hear. Also, Roy's starting to find an attraction to a local shopkeeper who is not, not all that she seems. Are, are we dealing with werewolves, or is this some sort of psychological thing? Well, most of you have seen The Howling. It's werewolves. It's a werewolf story, and a gruesome one at that. Um, I will say this. Most of what happens... In the movie, The Howling, does not happen in the novel. Um, I've been told that Howling 6, Howling 5 or 6, follows this novel a bit more. But I haven't seen a Howling movie since Howling 2, Your Sister is a Werewolf. Which, for any of you who've seen that, <laughs> that is a sight to behold. I do believe Christopher Lee is uh, before his death apologized for being in the film. Yes. Um, it's The Howling is a creepy book and it's a nasty one. But I'll tell you what, it's got some really good atmosphere. This came out in the late 70s, I do believe uh, 77. Same year as Star Wars, this came out. And it is, from the get-go, it goes through 0 to 100. And I didn't expect it. Uh, the first chapter physically made me sick. Which, it takes a book, it takes a lot for a book to do that at this point. Uh, there's a handful that have grossed me out, but just, it's rough. And you should all be warned but it gets better from there. It's a solid story. Karen's a very sympathetic character. She she knows something's up and it's a it's a question of if is it actually happening or is it in her mind? Roy isn't sure and it leads to leads to problems. And the less I say about the howling, the better in my opinion. Because I thought I knew everything about The Howling because I had seen... I do enjoy Toby Hooper's film adaptation of it. It's very different from the book. I mean, it takes some things from the novel, but for the most part, the characters are very different. Um, and I just... I really like the town of Drago. It's just weird. It's a weird town. Not quite Twin Peaks weird, but, you know... It's pretty strange. The The town folk are peculiar. And they, some of their peculiarities come from they don't have pets in Drago. And there really aren't any children in Drago either. And it's, it's just peculiar. It's a peculiar town and fun to read about. And when things go south, it is incredibly entertaining. Uh, so... Anyway, what do I give The Howling? I give it a solid 4 out of 5 stars. I would highly recommend it. In fact, if you go to the link down below, you can pick up the audio uh, copy of it. As for the audiobook, I did have a few issues with it. 
The performance is fine, but there are some audio clipping issues in there. So just be warned, there's a, the audio quality changes occasionally and then goes back. It's just weird. I don't know if it was my copy that did that or or what, like I had a, something went wrong with my download. I'm not sure, but it, it was just it was peculiar. So for that, give it a 3.8 out of 5 for the audiobook itself. Story, solid 4 out of 5. Highly recommend it. Thanks again to Encyclopocalypse for sending this out to me. Sorry it's late, but hey, here you go. Link's down below. Check it out. Anyway, I will see you all soon.